Welcome to the Elon Musk module on the Modern Entrepreneur's Success Stories. By the end of this module, you will learn a brief biography of Elon Musk. Identify how he took his first steps towards success. Identify Musk's success mantras, first principles thinking. Discuss how he applied first principles thinking in his inventions. Learn some curious facts about Elon Musk. Identify some of his inspiring thoughts. And, learn from his success. What do you know about Elon Musk? Let's go through the highlights of his early life and various entrepreneurial ventures. Elon Musk was born on June 28, 1971, in Pretoria, South Africa to a Canadian mother and a South African father. His parents separated when he was just nine years old, and later, he opted to live with his father. In 1981, when Elon was 10, he got his first computer. Because of his interest in computers, he learned programming skills by himself through trial and error. In 1983, at the age of 12, he displayed an early talent for programming and entrepreneurship. He developed a video game, called Blastar, and sold it to a computer magazine for $500. Owing to his age, it was quite an accomplishment. In 1988, when Musk was 17, he left South Africa for Canada and attended Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. In 1992, he left Canada for the U.S. and enrolled in the University of Pennsylvania, where he received dual bachelor's degrees in physics and economics in 1995. In 1995, instead of pursuing a Ph.D. in physics, he rode the Internet wave and founded Zip2 Corporation with his brother Kimball Musk. Zip2 Corporation provided maps and business directories to online newspapers and served as a software provider to the media industry. In 1999, Musk and his brother sold Zip2 to the computer manufacturing company Compaq for $307 million and used that money to launch X.com, an online financial services company. With further acquisitions, X.com became PayPal and specialized in online money transfer. In 2002, eBay, an e-commerce corporation, bought PayPal for $1.5 billion. The same year, Musk founded his third company, Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, or SpaceX, intending to make affordable rockets for commercial space travel. In 2004, with his relentless interest in electrical vehicles, he became co-founder and product designer at Tesla Motors, an electric car company formed by Martin Eberhardt and Mark Tarpenning in 2003. Musk envisioned Tesla as an automaker offering affordable electric cars to average consumers. He later became the CEO of Tesla in 2008. In 2006, Tesla introduced its first car, the Roadster, which could travel 394 kilometers on a single charge. The same year, he helped create Solar City, a company that designs and installs solar panels to construct charging stations for Tesla cars. In 2008, Musk faced a serious financial crisis, but he pulled through it with his determination and made a successful comeback. In 2012, SpaceX became the first privately held company to deliver cargo to and from the International Space Station to Earth with its reusable Dragon spacecraft. Since then, Dragon has carried out several cargo resupply missions for NASA. In August 2013, Musk proposed a new form of transportation called the Hyperloop. It is a network of low-pressure tubes that can carry passengers in pods at speeds more than 700 miles per hour. In 2016, Musk purchased Solar City Corporation, a company specialized in supplying solar power equipment and panels. Musk collaborated Solar City with Tesla to use electric vehicle batteries to smooth the impact of rooftop solar on the power grid. In the same year, Musk co-founded Neuralink, a medical research firm focused on developing devices to link up human brains with computers for treating serious brain diseases in the short term. In January 2017, Musk launched The Boring Company, a company committed to creating a tunnel system to decrease street traffic. Today we recognize Elon Musk as a serial entrepreneur who revolutionized the space industry and the electric car industry, right? But what has helped him achieve this unparalleled success? Well, the essential element to his success is that he believes in himself. His ideas have always been path-breaking and hence were difficult to comprehend for many critics. However, no matter how much he is discouraged for his ideas, he stays firm to his belief and aims to implement these ideas with his passion, dedication, and commitment to execution. What we learn from Elon based on these traits is, listen to your critics, 
but use their views to improve and implement your ideas with a higher motivation. In addition, we learn that we should not take criticism to heart. Stay confident and portray your confidence to your team and customers, so they also believe in you and your ideas. Most of Musk's ideas, such as Hyperloop, have been truly out of the box. Let us reveal the secret behind how Musk thinks of such ideas that a normal person would not even dream about. Musk abides by the first principles thinking approach to finding solutions to problems. The first principles approach is also known as reasoning from first principles. It has been used by great thinkers, such as Aristotle, Thomas Edison, Nikola Tesla, etc. to develop their discoveries and inventions. Musk describes it as a decision-making strategy in which you boil things down to their fundamental truths and reason up from there, as opposed to reasoning by analogy. However, he also acknowledges the importance of building upon ideas that already exist to save you from mental exhaustion. The first principles thinking is a model of thinking that looks at problems through physics or an analytical perspective instead of saying, this is how things have been done, and hence should be executed in the same way in the future. The latter method of thinking is termed as the analogy way of thinking, wherein we relate to a problem on how it has been done in the past. The first principle method focuses on making something new at the component level. Whereas reasoning by analogy focuses on making something new based on the idea that already exists. Now, Let's discuss how applying the first principles thinking method has helped Elon Musk to go to the basic principles of the problem and invent solutions from scratch and achieve success with his every idea. So, Musk applied first principles thinking when he decided to start SpaceX and build his own rockets. Elon wanted to send the first rocket to Mars. So, he approached a bunch of aerospace manufacturers and realized that the cost of a rocket was up to 65 million dollars. Elon's problem was a high price for the rockets in the market as per analogy thinking that most of us apply elon could have said all right i need to save 65 million dollars to make a rocket however elon applied the first principles thinking to this problem with this thinking elon broke down the problem and determined what is a rocket made of the answer was aerospace grade aluminum alloys plus some titanium copper and carbon fiber next elon asked What is the value of those materials on the commodity market? Now, the actual price of all components needed to make the rocket was just 2% of the typical price of a rocket. So, with this discovery, Elon started SpaceX and built reusable rockets that eventually reduced the cost of space travel. Similarly, when Musk had an idea of making cheaper batteries for his electric cars, he identified that his main problem is that presently batteries are expensive, almost $600 per kilowatt hour. Next, to solve this problem, he applied the first principles thinking to his problem of expensive batteries. He went to the basics of finding materials that form batteries. He even checked the commodity market values for elements that form batteries. Then, he thought of ways to buy those materials at cheaper prices and make battery packs that cost almost $80 per kilowatt hour, which was way cheaper than anyone would have ever imagined. That is the power of first principles thinking. Here are some curious facts to give you more of a glimpse into Elon Musk's thinking. Musk had a difficult childhood and had been a victim of extreme bullying throughout his school days. He was once hospitalized after a group of boys pushed him down the stairs. Eventually, he learned to defend himself by practicing karate, judo, and wrestling. So, he started finding solutions to problems at an early age. Musk is an ardent reader. He reportedly read the entire Encyclopedia Britannica when he was 9 and would glue to science fiction novels, comics, and non-fiction books for up to 10 hours a day. Books played a crucial role in keeping him entertained through difficult times of his childhood and fueling his entrepreneurial ambitions. Musk had enrolled at Stanford University in California for a PhD program in energy physics, but dropped out just 2 days after being a part of it. He did not pursue his PhD but, being in Silicon Valley, He gained enough insight to choose a career path for himself and founded his first company Zip2 at the age of 24. In March 2013, when Tesla's future was looking bleak, Musk approached Google CEO Larry Page for a takeover. Musk almost sold Tesla to Google for 11 billion dollars. However, the deal stalled at the last hour as sales for Tesla's Model S started to soar. For the advancement of electric vehicle technology, Elon Musk has applied open source technology to the patents that he had obtained for Tesla cars and has made the platform open for all to experiment. 
Musk believes that AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of humans and a brain-computer connection could stop super-smart artificial intelligence from enslaving humans. To support his point, he had said that an AI-human symbiote would help democratize AI. And that we do not have to worry about some evil dictator AI because we are the AI collectively. Elon Musk is ambitious about making humans a multi-planetary species. He believes that life on Earth will go extinct in the future and wants to save humans from this extinction event. His SpaceX venture is exploring the possibilities of moving to Mars and colonizing it by 2060. It's worth analyzing some great quotes from achievers like Elon Musk. So, let's see what we can learn from some of Elon Musk's quotes. I think it is possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. This is a real motivator for anyone who thinks they are not extraordinary and that they cannot achieve something exceptional. Musk is humble in stating that everyone has the potential to be extraordinary, but they just need an idea and a mindset for executing that idea. Musk chose to be extraordinary when he followed his instinct of quitting the PhD program to pursue his entrepreneurial ambitions. Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovative enough. With this, Musk tries to reiterate the importance of failures on the path of success. When we set out for an entrepreneurial journey, we could be extremely optimistic about our ideas. However, when we face issues, negativity can creep into our minds. So, if we acknowledge failure as a likely outcome, we will be able to spot risks beforehand and find ways to make things work with innovative solutions. In addition, treating failure as a learning experience will enable you to improve as a person, thinker, and entrepreneur. Persistence is very important. You should not give up unless you are forced to give up. This states that if you are committed to an idea and want to achieve it, then you must keep working towards executing it. Giving up should not be an option unless something or someone forces you to do so. Even in such situations, you must try different ways to turn things in your favor and do your best to make as much progress as possible towards your goals. Do not aim for quick wins. Persist and keep your sights on the long-term profitability and success. Many budding entrepreneurs stop midway with their marketing plans, product development, or promotions as they don't experience the amount of success they had envisioned. Such entrepreneurs stop themselves and quit persisting. You should not be that entrepreneur. After all, persistence is the key to success. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. This book teaches us to first feel the importance of an idea that strikes you and then make it your goal. Even if odds are against you, be optimistic as well as realistic about that idea. If you have fathomed the importance of that idea, then no one can stop you from achieving your goal. Don't forget Elon's first principles thinking model. See if that can help you to solve the problem. The first step is to establish that something is possible, then probability will occur. This asks us to not think too much about executing an idea. That is, we should not get into paralysis by analysis. We need to understand that the probability of something coming to life occurs only when you work on it and not when you analyze it. So, the main learning from this way is, get to work with your idea. Your idea will come to life when you work on it and not think about it forever. Really pay attention to negative feedback and solicit it, particularly from friends, hardly anyone does that, and it's incredibly helpful. This book teaches us to seek negative feedback on your work from close friends and family in order to improve yourself and your product or service. People in the family or our network may not share open feedback to avoid offending you and spoiling your personal equation. Therefore, we must actively ask for their feedback and request them to be as brutally honest as possible. Your network can be your first and most frank customers who can give you feedback to improve your product or service. Here are a few things that we can learn from Elon Musk's journey. Do something important for humanity. With your product or service, think how you are serving humanity. Musk has always envisioned for the well-being of nature and life through his innovations. No matter how much people ridiculed his ideas initially. Musk's innovations, such as an electric car, is helping reduce the carbon footprint. Also, his research around Hyperloop can revolutionize urban transportation while saving people time and possibly pollution. With his growing business and innovations, Musk is employing many talented individuals and thus supporting their families. Similarly, if you have an idea and you believe in it then you must strive to make it a reality for the benefits of humanity. Although Musk and his ventures are driving profits, it's nothing evil. That's the aim of doing business. However, what you achieve for humanity while running a profitable business is what matters. Start early. Seize the opportunity. When you begin your entrepreneurial journey, chances are that the marketplace is already captured by some established competitors. 
So, in such markets, offer innovative products and services that your competitors have not thought of before and earn recognition for yourself. Also, if your idea is path-breaking and no market exists for it, go full throttle with implementing your idea. Drive the idea's execution with passion and persistence. If you adopt the right strategy, you will build a market like Elon Musk has done for electric cars, and as a result, you'll build an aspirational product or service. Never give up. Despite being on the verge of bankruptcy for his dream venture, Tesla, and having faced a couple of unsuccessful attempts of a rocket launch at SpaceX, Musk has always bounced back stronger. Similarly, if we imbibe a never give up attitude and stay determined and committed to our ambitions, no one can stop us from achieving our goals. To further understand this learning point, we can consider a story related to Musk in 2013. It was around this time that Tesla was struggling to register good sales. This is when Elon approached Google chief Larry Page to buy out Tesla. Elon did this to ensure his ideas live even though he may have to sell his company. However, soon Tesla started selling enough cars to let Elon Musk bail out of the deal. Use criticism to introspect. Criticism is the best motivation if you are ambitious enough to succeed. Musk craves for the feedback and values the importance of criticism for making products great. Similarly, if you actively seek out negative feedback from the people who are aware of your ambitions, you can utilize it to introspect and deliver out-of-the-box products and services. Surround yourself with the best talent. Musk himself is well informed about all the areas of his interest, however, he has always valued the importance of experts who can advise and guide him occasionally. Likewise, you should surround yourself with people who are inclined with your ambitions, are hardworking, and have problem-solving attitudes. Adopt a growth mindset. Elon Musk emphasizes that when you start fresh, assume that the probability of you being wrong is higher. However, when you adopt a growth mindset, it prepares you to overcome inevitable issues. With this mindset, you are ready to put in extra effort, accept constructive criticism, and learn from the success of others, and your own failures. Adopting a growth mindset and pairing it with an attitude of never giving up will motivate you to pursue your goals until you have achieved them. Congratulations! You have completed the Elon Musk module from the Modern Entrepreneur's Success Story series. Be sure to check out the other modules in the series.